uh, the last and mostly not so important part of Android Studio is the status bar, which is the bottom most uh, layer of the Android Studio, this one, right? So it shows certain features, certain actions, certain flags, which uh, generally tells us about the status of the current Android application or the status of our current development, right? If you can see uh, on the bottom right, on the bottom left corner of the Android Studio, a uh, window types icon there. Just hover on that and you can see these options, messages, Android terminal captures. So we have already discussed this entire thing in detail, right? So we can just go through this thing, like we can, if you click on it, it also shows in the expanded or like it hides or shows the entire thing, right? I mean, it generally hides or shows the tab as you can see that. Just click on that and you can see how it's working. And if you hover on that, it will show the other thing. If I click on messages, I get the messages console and all those things. On the right, we can see the UTF-8, which is uh, the encoding type. So over here, we have selected, we can select any of these encoding types. UTF-8 is the standard one, so we will go with this right now. And um, again, the context of the current file then the, this one to toggle the read only attribute if you want to lock it or not so if you lock it uh, or if you want to just read it then the second one the second last is the current inspection profile and the last one is the ide internal if there is some error it will show some here if such certain error has appeared or not right okay now how this is status bar comes into action and when it comes into action let's click on again build grader so the moment i click on build grader you can see true process processes start running gradle configuration and all these things are already this basically showing the current status of what's happening with your android application or to be more precise what's happening in the android studio right now right now or to be even more precise what android studio is doing with your app, android application right now so this is all about uh, the status bar, right? And we will wrap up this section, this chapter with this video. In the next video, we will run our very first Android application and uh, see how it works. We will create an Android virtual device and run this Android application on the emulator right on our computer. So that's all for this video. Uh, stay tuned. And uh, one thing I would like to recommend is, like uh, before moving to the next chapter, please, please, I request you all to go through all the functionalities of Android Studio once thoroughly. Like just go through each and everything, each and every button on the Android Studio thoroughly. If you don't understand anything, shoot us a question, we'll get back to you. And or maybe the faster way could be you can simply Google it, right? So just Google it, whatever, whatever error you are trying, facing, just Google it and Stack Overflow have enough tutorials, like much content. The developer community of Android is amazing. People are very helpful. So sim simply try searching it on Google, Stack Overflow, GitHub, and many similar websites, many similar communities, and you will get your answer. But don't move ahead until and unless you're very clear with each and every functionality of Android Studio.